Just when you think liberals can't stoop any lower, they somehow find a way to do it. So, I've dealt with a ton of comments, both on my videos and on posts, and responses to other people within those comment sections of people just being some of the worst human beings on the face of the earth. Hell, I've done entire videos on this, and usually I have fun poking fun at them because they're pretty goddamn pathetic. And this one is obviously some pathetic douchebag that has nothing better to do with his time, but this one's a lot more despicable than the other ones. This was on a post, I don't even remember what post this was because I just screenshotted it. I, po I posted it up on my community tab already like an hour ago, but I decided to make a full video on it because honestly I have no other videos right now. I have a review for tomorrow, but nothing today, but I really wanted to talk about this. This is what I'm talking about, and what's even funnier about this is if you can see the comment that it is responding to, this comment was made a day ago, and it's on a post from about six months ago. That's how desperate this asshole was to post this garbage. Now, the thing I really want to talk about is because liberals like these really push the narrative that they are the political party of love and tolerance. And yet these are the same people that are that are praising terrorists and murderers in the Middle East. And then they'll post something like this on the internet. And according to the person that they responded to, you know, he uh, messaged me directly saying that it was that the response was reported for hate speech and is no longer there. So it's but y'all knew, but the the evidence is right here. So it's not like it's that. And so yeah, you you get the idea. The simple fact that they keep that these assholes keep pushing the narrative that they are the political party of love and tolerance. Like I say, when they cry and bitch and moan and call you racist and call you other shit and do stuff like this. And they still say that they promote love and tolerance. You're kidding me, right? Like, the simple fact that there is no self-awareness going on here is probably the biggest problem. Like, if these people, if these people knew they were assholes and just doing it, well, it's still obviously a shitty thing to do and you're still an asshole, but at least you know it. They think posting something like that is promoting love and tolerance. That's a fucking joke. And anybody with a brain knows this. We've been seeing this everywhere, not just with movies, with especially Disney movies like Lightyear and shows like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Percy Jackson and all these other shitty Disney products that people defend by calling you racist and calling you a bunch of other heinous things and posting death threats and shit like that. Hell, I did entire videos on people that sent me death threats over my, over pointing out the obvious flaws with the Percy Jackson cast, and I laugh my ass off at that. And this is pretty funny, but again, considering this one isn't directed at me, makes it a bit more despic- it makes me a little bit more angry than usual, because when they direct it at me, I know it's it's really funny to me. But when they direct it at other people, it's pretty despicable. And you can tell they were desperate to post this somewhere because, th again, this post, this isn't a video. This is a community post from six goddamn months ago. And this was posted yesterday. That's how desperate these shitty liberals are to post shit like that. So don't even try to tell me that these this is the political party of love and tolerance when they want people to end their own lives if you don't agree with them politically. And they support, well, considering they support things like abortion and murderers and terrorists in the Middle East, I guess we shouldn't be surprised. So that's all I got, and I'll see you next time. Bye.